Today my travels have brought me to Pacific View Memorial Park in Newport Beach, California. There's a few names here of celebrities. You know, I know. We're gonna go pay our respects to them. I'm gonna give a little bio. I'm gonna give you a view of the landscape as well. So, let's go find them. So the first celebrity grave we find here is located in Bayview Terrace, section 575, section 24, row 8, headstone number 81. Not only a Hollywood legend, but an Iowa legend as well. The legendary, one and only, the Duke, John Wayne. Born Marion Morrison in Winterset, Iowa on May 26, 1907, he was an American actor during Hollywood's Golden Age, starring in Western and war movies. He appeared in 179 film and television productions, becoming one of the biggest top box office draws for three decades, and has been called one of the greatest male movie stars of classic American cinema, and arguably the greatest Western movie star of all time. Playing football on a scholarship at USC, but due to an injury, he lost the scholarship and had to leave the university. Eventually, he started working for the Fox Film Corporation, now 20th Century Studios, earning his first lead role in 1930's The Big Trail. The 1939 Western film Stagecoach made Wayne a mainstream star. His greatest films included True Grit, Stagecoach, Red River, Rio Bravo, El Dorado, Big Jake, How the West Was Won, Sands of Iwo Jima, Fort Apache, and many more. He passed away on June 11, 1979 from stomach cancer at age 72. His grave was unmarked for 20 years until finally receiving a marker in 1999. Side note, being from Iowa myself, John Wayne is a state icon there, and if you ever travel to his birthplace in Winterset, be sure to check out John Wayne Birthplace Museum across the street from Wayne's birthplace home. The museum includes scripts, costumes, set pieces, and posters. It is located at 205 South John Wayne Drive. Let me tell you something, Pilgrim. Tomorrow is the most important thing in life. It comes into us at midnight very clean. It's perfect when it arrives and it puts itself in our hands. It hopes we've learned something from yesterday. Anybody here a thrash metal fan? Well, located in Pacific Garden, lot 1809, is Slayer guitarist Jeff Hanneman. Born January 31st, 1964 in Long Beach, California, he was an American musician who was a founding member and guitarist of the thrash metal band Slayer, which formed in 1981. He wrote many of the band's famous songs, including Raining Blood, Angel of Death, Die by the Sword, South of Heaven, War Ensemble, and Postmortem. He composed both music and lyrics for every Slayer album until his death. He was ranked number 10 in Guitar World's 100 Greatest Heavy Metal Guitarists of All Time. He passed away on May 2nd, 2013 from liver failure at age 49. Slayer would disband six years later. Follow this walkway. This is Lido Terrace section, Upper Garden Estates. And in the second plot to your right is Bobby Hatfield. Born August 10th, 1940 in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. He was an American singer who along with Bill Medley were known as the Righteous Brothers. Medley sang the low parts with bass baritone voice and Hatfield sang higher register vocals with his tenor. Their best known hits were You've Lost That Love and Feeling, Just Once in My Life, Ebb Tide, 
You're my soul and inspiration, Rock and Roll Heaven, and the amazing and legendary cover of Unchained Melody, which was featured in the movie Ghost and sang by Hatfield himself. The Righteous Brothers were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2003 and the Vocal Group Hall of Fame in 2005. Their most active recording period was in the 60s and 70s, and after years of being inactive as a duo due to their solo careers, Hatfield and Medley reunited in 1981. Bobby Hatfield passed away on November 5, 2003 from heart failure brought on by cocaine use at age 63. If anybody's seen the movie Ghost, you'll definitely remember the pottery scene between Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze. Unchained Melody was playing in the background. Legendary song. Coming in off the road here, we find ourselves at the Garden of David Lot 60, Grave B, is the final resting place of Kevin DeBrow. Born October 29, 1955 in Hollywood, California, he was an American singer who was the lead vocalist of heavy metal band Quiet Riot from 1975 to 1987 and again from 1993 until his death in 2007. Quiet Riot was formed in 1975 by Randy Rhodes and Kelly Garney, who later recruited DeBrow. After some lineup changes and Randy Rhodes' death in a plane crash while on tour with Ozzy Osbourne, Quiet Riot established their classic and best-known lineup which included DeBrow on vocals, Carlos Cavazzo on guitar, Rudy Sarzo on bass, and Frankie Benali on drums. In 1983, the band released the legendary iconic heavy metal album, Metal Health, which would become the first heavy metal album to reach number one on the Billboard 200 chart. Due to its commercial success, Metal Health is regarded as the opening door for hair metal band's popularity throughout the next several years. The album sold over 10 million copies worldwide and was certified six times platinum. The two biggest hits on the album were Metal Health, Bang Yo Head, and the cover of Slade's Come On Feel The Noise. In 1987, DeBrow was fired from the band by the management and the label due to publicly bad-mouthing other bands, internal conflicts with In Quiet Riot, and his excessive drinking and drug abuse. He later was hired back in 1993 and released a few more albums. Although he was trying to make changes in his lifestyle, he ended up sadly passing away on November 25, 2007 at age 52 from a fatal overdose of cocaine, painkillers, and alcohol. So the first time I heard Quiet Riot, I was actually watching the movie Footloose. And hearing Metal Health, Bang Your Head, I absolutely fell in love with that song and I absolutely fell in love with uh, Quiet Riot. That song was a real headbanger. It still is to this day whenever it comes on. An iconic classic sung by this man right here. Top of the hill here of the cemetery, and this is Pacific Gardens. If we come over to the mausoleum part, we come over here. Is anybody a fan of Wiener Schnitzel? Well, located at Crypt 106 is the founder, John Gallardi. Born March 4th, 1938, in Kansas City, Missouri, he was a fast food entrepreneur who founded Wiener Schnitzel, the world's largest hot dog chain, in 1961. By 1977, his business had taken off as a franchise drive through chain, reaching 200 locations. Wiener Schnitzel has over 350 locations in 10 states and Guam, selling more than 120 million hot dogs a year. He passed away on April 13, 2013 from cancer at age 75. He will be remembered as a great entrepreneurial businessman, but to us, he was the most loving husband, father, son, grandfather, and brother anyone could be. We're in Palm Court, and if we go into this small entry right here, this is Alcove of Faith. All the way in the back here, Very top 
is the final resting place of William Austin. And he's 251. Born June 12, 1884 in Georgetown, Guyana. He attended Reading College in England, gaining theatrical experience in theater and drama plays. He began his acting career in 1922 and working in films, Austin appeared in many American films and serials between the 1920s and 1940s, but most of his roles were small and uncredited. He also worked as a film editor in westerns from 1928 to 1930. William Austin was the first actor to portray Alfred Pennyworth, Batman's butler, the 1943 Batman serial. Originally, the character was meant to be fat with no facial hair, but after Austin's performance, the character of Alfred in the Batman comics would be thin with a mustache. William Austin passed away on June 15, 1975, at the age of 91. The very first Alfred to our Batman. Now we find ourselves in Vista Del Mar section, lot 694, and at Grave E, we find the final resting place of William Cagney. Born March 26, 1905 in New York, he was an American actor and film producer who was the younger look-alike brother of famous actor James Cagney. Produced several of his brother's films including City for Conquest, Johnny Come Lately, Blood on the Sun, The Time of Your Life, Kiss Tomorrow Goodbye, and A Lion is in the Streets. He handled his brother's business affairs and negotiated several of his Hollywood studio contracts. He passed away on January 3rd, 1988 from a heart attack at age 82. We have come to the end of the tour of Pacific View Memorial Park. We found some good celebrities. I did a video about Kobe Bryant. Don't know if it's where they're buried or not. I'm not gonna go all the way and find out. But rest in peace to them. Rest in peace to everyone that is buried here. Rest in peace to the celebrities. Hope you guys had fun seeing my videos. Appreciate it. I appreciate the subscribers. I appreciate the views. I appreciate the support. So, Code Man's Travels, always reminding you to travel, experience, live. Thank you.